Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. With us today, I have my dear friend Chantel, whom I'm gonna create a beautiful look on, keeping the complexion soft and radiant. The eye makeup is gonna be very, very simple, but we're gonna to top it off with a beautiful, bold lip. And I'm doing this all in partnership with Dalba. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm taking the Dalba Double Layer Revitalizing Serum to prep Chantel's skin with. This look we're creating today is all about keeping the skin natural and, and glowy. So this is really the perfect product to achieve this with. As the name suggests, there's two layers to this. There's the oil layer, which accounts for about 30% of this, while the other 70% is a serum. So it's kind of a two-in-one product. And the reason you see me use this so often in my tutorials is because it absorbs quickly into the skin, allowing for the foundation to blend seamlessly on top of it. But it also works with all skin types too. So whether you have dry skin, um, oily skin, combination, sensitive, it's kind of a one-stop shop for everyone. Now, once I have this applied onto the face, I'll also bring it down the neck, chest, and shoulders, which gives the most hydrated, glowy sheen that makes the skin look so luscious and expensive. So once I have this applied, I'm taking the Makeup Forever HD Skin Liquid Foundation and applying this right on top with a brush in tapping, pressing motions. I'm trying not to drag it across the skin and I'm also not using a whole lot of this either, guys. By the time we're done with this whole look, I want the skin to look like skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want a full coverage application today. Our model has incredible skin to begin with, so I want to complement it with a sheet layer of product and of course per usual once I have this applied on with a brush I'll go back in with a clean makeup sponge to further blend it in and pick up any excess foundation For concealer, I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Match Concealer and applying this right there to the inner lower corner of the eyes before blending it in with my sponge. I'm using just enough product here to lightly brighten the under eye, but not so much that it's gonna feel, um, it's, you know, it's not gonna feel heavy and all that. A little does it with the concealer for this look. To contour, I'm using the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Duo and with a light hand, blending this into the areas I want to add definition, such as the cheekbones, jawline, and perimeter of the forehead. So this product comes in different shades. The one I'm using here is called She's Bronzed, which has a warmer undertone to it. But there's also two different formulas that it offers, a cream and a powder. So right now, I'm using the cream, but we'll use the powder in just a moment. Next up, I'm using the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Powder in the shade Pillowy and using this to set the liquid and cream products into place. What I really enjoy about this powder is that you can continue to build and build and build this up using as much as you want of it, but it'll never look cakey on the skin. Like, it's not a traditional powder foundation per se. It's not gonna offer you a ton of coverage but there is a little pigment in there to give you a hint of color to the complexion while also bringing down the shine in the areas you don't want it. So I think because of that, this is the kind of powder you'd want to use throughout the day to touch up your makeup with. Like I said, it's not gonna offer you, you know, a whole lot of coverage necessarily, but it will help keep your makeup looking smooth and polished as the day goes on. So what I'm doing here is I've head back to our bronzer palette and I'm using the powder formula to reinforce the cream bronzer we had earlier applied. The reason I do this after I've used a little setting powder is because had I gone right on top of the cream with the powder bronzer, 
Any stick or tackiness that the skin has will grip right onto the color pigment in the bronzer, which is why some people find that their bronzer looks patchy or muddy. So if that sounds like you, try mattifying your skin first with some setting powder before using a bronzer. But once I have all of the powders applied, I'm taking the Dalva First Spray Serum, shaking it up really well before spraying this on. What this is gonna do here is it's gonna take the powder products we've applied and melt them into the skin, which you'll see gives a radiant skin-like finish to the complexion. And if you want a super glowy finish, I'd recommend even going in for a second spray along the cheekbones, which is what I'll do. But much like their serum we used at the beginning, this is a vegan formula packed with rich ingredients that are gonna hydrate and nourish the skin, whether you use it as a finishing spray or alone as a skincare product on those no makeup days. Either way, it's a staple in my own skincare routine. I get it on Amazon, I'll put the link below. And now more than ever really is the best time to get it because with the Amazon Prime Day sale going on on the 11th and 12th of July, these products are around 50% off. So we love a good deal almost as much as we love a good glow. I mean, <laughs> look at her skin, it's just so, so good. All right, moving right along, I'm taking this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to bake with along the under eye and jawline. Of course, this step is totally optional depending on your preference, but because I'm curating this makeup look for the summertime, this is a step I like to do on most of my clients during the warmer months. This baking technique will help lock in the product, keep the skin mattified, and extend the wear of the makeup. To begin on the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade A Soft Brown and using this to lightly fill in and shape Chantel's brows with. You'll notice I'm really taking my time with this here, little by little, building up the density to achieve the result I'm looking for, which is soft, sculpted, polished brows. Now that we're finishing up on this brow, I'm gonna do the other brow off camera to save a couple of minutes. And then I'll start on the eye makeup using the same Patrick Ta bronzer duo we had used earlier around the face. In fact, the way I'm using this is the same way I had used it earlier by applying on the cream bronzer first, diffusing out the edges, before applying on the powder bronzer formula to add the density and drama. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. It still looks soft and natural. And the best part is we were able to repurpose a product that we had used earlier for another step, which keeps it simple, practical, and easy to achieve. I've head back to the complexion here to dust off the baking powder. And as you can see, it leaves behind a soft matte velvet finish in the areas we had applied it with a hint of brightness. Now to highlight, I'm using this House Labs highlighter and popping this right onto the high points of her face. If I'm not mistaken, I, I believe this shade is called, um, it's a gold pyrite or golden pyrite. Um, I can't quite remember at the moment, but I'll be sure to list it down below. Either way, it adds a beautiful sheen that complements the glow that we've created. For lips today, I'm using this matte liquid lipstick from a brand called The Lip Bar, and this is in the shade Boy Trouble, which is this vibrant reddish orange. I think this is such a fun way to play up your makeup, especially for the summertime. You can keep everything subtle and understated in terms of the complexion and the eye makeup and all. And then when it comes to the lip color, you can take a risk and go with something bold, whether it be a vibrant pink or a deep burgundy. But I think there's something special about a reddish orange that's fitting for the summer months. Now, once I have this applied, I'm gonna head back to our Dalbla First Spray Serum to add one more layer of finishing spray to lock this makeup into place which makes this the final step in how we created this luminous summertime glam on our naturally beautiful model. And there we have it. 
have it kids. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.